$75, Corny, for a pair of shoes. It's tough out here in the trenches, Corny. Oh my God, I saw a jacket for 85 bucks. This is tough. Yeah. One of the most expensive stores we've ever been in. $88 book set. We'll never come back to this store. It doesn't make sense to me. All right, guys, uh, Monday morning. We have had a pretty decent week last week. It was uh, $2,500 in sales, but all of it came through during the week. So, one, it's good that we made two and a half thousand because that's kind of what we average. Um, it's also good because we don't have a lot to do on this Monday morning post, which is good for you, Courtney. Yeah, short post. Normally your entire day is shipping, um, yeah. or the majority anyway. So today, we're gonna be pulling out, how many have we got? We've got basically 10 orders, I think. Yeah. Just 10 orders to pull and post, which is so unique. But um, I can probably actually attribute that. I was, um, we had a big running event over the weekend. We did a big, um, David Goggins Heart Foundation fundraising challenge. Um, myself and a friend, Brooke, we ran 84 kilometers over two days. Uh, and we finished late last night. So I had a big sleep last night, woke up this morning, checked eBay. And I think because I wasn't sending offers and things like that, um, you know, and attending to questions, and I basically just left it alone, which I never do, um, you know, caused the sales to be much lower over the weekend. But I tell you what, to not think about eBay, Courtney, for two days. Nice. Very refreshing. Yeah. I feel really quite energized. I feel very sore after the run. Yeah. I've never run that far in my life. But I feel quite energized about a big film day today, get the post done, we're going to go and do some thrifting. Um, yeah. And I'm actually kind of excited for it. Yeah. So it's nice to take a break every now and again. Absolutely. Not so, think about it. Not, I didn't think about it once. Yeah. And I think about it every single day. Yeah. So that was kind of cool. And I actually wasn't even too disappointed when the sales weren't there. Because I know that we're just going to get back on top of it today. Mm -hmm. And then I looked at the week and the week was still two and a half grand. So I was like, oh, you know what? Yeah. Balance. It is. It's all about balance. <sighs> Bumblebee Transformer. Yeah. We had, did you buy like six? Bought a heap. Transformers? Yeah, I think it was six or seven. Yeah. Um, for $15 each, didn't you buy them for? Yeah, I think that would have been a 15 um, and this one actually was listed for 60 and they used a coupon and they got it for, I think about the 56, 95, yeah. but then the two Optimus Prime ones, weren't they like a hundred? They're ranging in price between 50 to about 125. So, mm -hmm. you know, to see that one pop in, it literally sold how long ago? Like 30 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Just came in. Yeah. Um, so 56, 95, that was awesome. And, uh, in a box, we'll put it into a box for sure. <laughs> Okay, another one from uh, Selwyn. Um, we've just had so many great items come through from Selwyn over the course of the last few weeks. This was no different. Have a zoom in on this, Courtney. Uh, we've got Deadly Premonitions Origins. This is actually the collector's edition. And when you're in thrift stores and flea markets or you're perusing around a garage sale, when you see the word collector or the collector's edition or limited edition, something like that, um, that should get you a little bit more excited because there's always a few extra little bits and pieces that you don't get with the standard version. Um, and I think that was the case with this one, to be honest, because when you open him up, you've got this extra little box here. And what's it got in it? I'm just, oh, there you go. That's the collector's edition extras. And what that means is, yes, there's gonna be a slight little addition in, in the sale price. We actually sold this, I think, I'll have to double check, but I think it was $100. Um, but it sold in a faster sell-through rate because it's a collector's edition. Um, and they're all, it was all there. You got the six pins in there. Uh, the game is in like new condition, the box is in very good condition, and collectors want to get a mint box as well. So the condition of what you've got also pays a price uh, for what you're able to sell it for. But yeah, I think we got, I mean the comps will say it, we'll pop it up on screen. I think we've got a hundred bucks for that coin. hundred, yeah. And we're going to put that in a small satchel, aren't we? Yeah. I think we could just bubble wrap that, mm -hmm. throw it into a small satchel, we'll send it off for $8.50. Mm -hmm. um, and we got it in a big bulk buy where we, the average sale price per good wouldn't have been very much to get it. I actually think with the big bulk buy, we were doing video games for $2. Mm, okay. I think the cost of good on that's two bucks. Yeah, so good. Great game. Nintendo Switch. Make sure you're looking for that. We have this complete series one and two, Dead Like Me, which is actually the complete seasons. Two of them. Complete. <laughs> um, 
which is really good because that means that we will be just putting that into a large track envelope um but which is maybe not good because they're actually the price of a old small satchel pricing basically yeah so 850 now to send um but i mean like compared to other series where it can be like 15 seasons it's still good um we got a 35 sale price for this one 35 it's yeah. it's surprised us actually i haven't really seen dead like me too much in in thrift stores before to comp them up no um but to find two of them for 35 dollars and as a sale price about two dollars purchase price yeah we got it in a bulk buy bulk buy yeah so not a lot of cost of good on it yeah but a good a good show to look out for because it is like courtney said only two seasons for a complete set yeah one two three four six house oh sorry what i thought it was the tv show house because we just sold a box set of house not that long ago <laughs> but it's not house it's breaking bad have you watched this show? No. One of the great shows. Yeah. I just dressed up as it though for a party. You did, didn't you? Yeah, but couldn't tell you. You went the yellow the yellow suit? Hazmat, yeah. The hazmat. Yeah. But hadn't hadn't watched it. No. <laughs> Everyone was asking, what's the guy's name? Heisenberg? Yeah, and I was like, who? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Breaking Bad, yeah, yeah, that's that's me. This is the show. That's so good. Well, this is absolute cracker. Mm. Um, that is Heisenberg, that guy, Brian Cranston. Yeah, cool. That's who you were. That's who I was, yeah. 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 You are a middle-aged man with horrible <laughs> pedophilic glasses. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> um, anyway, um, we've got a few different seasons here. We are missing season five, which makes this a tougher sell-through um, because you want to sell all your DVDs in box sets, um, which we've tried to do with the DVDs that we had here. Now, the reason I like to list these up as they are, you're probably thinking, well, why not? Why don't you hold on and wait for season five? Um, but we like to list them up because they can go on to sell. Mm. And this one has for $30. Um, but say we went out thrifting today and we found season five, just like the Harry Potter the other day, Courtney. Mm. Um, if we found season five, then we can go ahead and re-amend the listing and make it a complete series one to six. Yeah. And that only just strengthens the chance of being able to then sell it sooner. Um, so yeah, this mm. one sold for $30. That's sort of the mentality that we go through when we're outsourcing and, and why we list them up in part season allocations. Um, but it was five DVDs, and we're going to put that into a small satchel with a bunch of bubble wrap. All right. The next one is these Spiderwick Chronicles book one and two hardcovers. Your favourite category. Books? Yes, correct. Um, they would have been very cheap, but you actually brought them back off me when you brought my store out for America. Mm -hmm. um, so they did take a while to sell, but we got a $25 sale price for those two. Um, so they'll go into a large envelope as well for eight. Yeah, which we don't normally do. No. We don't normally put books in envelopes. No, nah, but these ones are quite thin. Yeah, they are they're basically the equivalent of a DVD. Yeah. And that's why we're doing it. Yeah. Um, and I think also because they're a hardcover, mm. they won't get damaged. Yeah. It's an interesting one for this and any booksellers that are watching, mm. let us know if you would do that. Yeah. Um, but I think we can get away with it. I don't have any issues doing it. No. Um, just given the size of the book and the fact that there were two of them sold, $8 in shipping versus a medium satchel, uh, sorry, a small satchel's eight fifty to 10 I don't know. You could do it either way. You could put bubble wrap around it in a small satchel, but we're going to trial for the first time a large envelope. Yeah. Just let us know in the comments. We'd love your help. I'm going to stick with the theme of books as well uh, and I'm going to show you guys this big manga collection that we had come through. A little bit disappointed about this one, Courtney, hey? Because mm -hmm. we have had this for a, while. for a long time. I want to say well over a year. Yeah. And I actually initially, this is just a Japanese comic manga. See all the different... Mm. This is actually a good category of book to try and find. Japanese mangas can do really well. Um, so much so that I listed them up for 200 Yeah. But they, um, I don't know if it's, are the numbers? I don't 1 to that, 26. Oh, it is 1 to 26. Yeah. I don't know if there's more than that in the series. Yeah. Maybe that's what slowed up the sell through. Mm. But uh, unfortunately, it's a, bit, a little bit of a disappointing 49.95 sale price. Mm. So we're going to put it into a box. It is heavy. It's, um, I think a dollar, I can't even remember. I have to double check what we paid. But say a dollar each, you're paying $26 for it. Yeah. So this is basically a loss situation. Yeah. This is basically saying, hey, we gave this one a try. 
We tried at 200. There might have been like one comp that said 200. Mm. So we went with it. And then over the course of the last year, which, we, which is a good thing to do to get it sold, is we lowered the price, lowered the price, lowered the price um, until finally somebody just bit the bullet and we sold it for, what, 50 bucks? Yeah. So we're going to lose money on this, this series, which I can't even pronounce. I don't think I'll be trying to buy again. Mm. But the manga books we've actually done well on in the past. Yeah. So I'm, it's not like I'm giving up on manga book series. Yeah. It's just this one was a bit of a disappointing sale. Yeah. All right, next up is this Xbox 360 bundle of 42 games. Um, we do really good with our video game bundles. As you can see, we usually only put them up for like a max of one or two weeks, I reckon, once we list them. Um, mainly because we will comp and check the condition of them and if they're under 15 or under, um, we'll put them into a bulk listing on an average of like 3 or $4 a game. So people usually look at that as a pretty good deal and then for us as well, it's only one shipping cost to get them out as well. So they usually do turn over really quick. So this is another one. This was 150 so it works out to about $3.80 a game. Pretty good. 159. And yeah. 159 yeah. it worked out to. And it was shit for about 20. So, yeah. pretty good. I'm not going to harp on these for too much here. We have a brand new DVD. That was the only reason why we bought this. Um, that one there sold for $15, just a marble DVD. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll put that into a tracked envelope. 15 used to be our minimum number of um, value. So, when we're out thrifting later today, that we probably wouldn't go ahead and purchase. We'd want it to be at least $20. Uh, for DVDs and video games. Um, again, a video game that's just sold here. Um, mm -hmm. Lego Avengers, another Marvel, uh, Marvel video game instead of DVD, but this one was a $15 sale price as well. So we are still going to put it into a tracked envelope. But again, this is one that could almost get up here. Yeah, definitely. It could almost be a bulk buy purchase for $4. Yeah. But um, I mean, if you looked at the numbers, profit per item on that big Xbox haul versus the profit they would make selling that with a tracked envelope with the increased in postage rates, mm -hmm. which we spoke about in the last video. That's, it just makes sense to look for an average sale price of 20 to 25 now. Yeah. Which makes it hard to find it because you try, like, good stuff isn't always in thrift stores. No. But anyway, we do have a lot of $15 items um, that are still selling, so it's not like they don't sell. It's just when you look at it, you realise you're not making much money from it. But we'll continue to sell them all off at 15. We won't pull them out because we've already kind of done that. Um, we're quite a small store now of about 1,600 items. Mm. So the $15 items will remain. Um, but hopefully we can just move them out as quickly as possible. All right. Next one is the complete first season of Fringe. Terrible sale. Well, not terrible, but not great. Pretty um, terrible. Yeah, it is. But this was, you would have brought this before I even started, so two years ago. 100%. Um, and when I did a big call last year of all of our DVDs, um, if it was 15 or under, we, did, we got rid of it. But what I didn't realise with this one was that it's a thicker DVD. So it's got like eight discs or something in it. Um, so that's not going to go into an envelope. It's going to go into a satchel, which will cost more in shipping. So for $15, it's basically just ruled out. You're not going to make anything of this. So, But it's, it's a sale and we need to fulfill it. So um, that is something to keep an eye out when you're going thrifting is what's it going to post for and the sale price. Right, next one is in SKU 004. Number four, mm -hmm. the Sacconis. Yeah. Doing this run over the weekend, would you say, like this brand got brought up, mm. would you say Sacconi or would you say Sacconi? Sacconi. Me too. Yeah. I think it's an Australian way of saying it. Sacconi. Sacconi is, there's a lot of Americans that watch this. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure that they all say Sacconi. And is it Hoka or Hoka? Hoka. I say Hoka. Yeah. But I think it's Hoka. You know the other thing with that? They'll say, people say 1-1. One, one. Hoka 1-1. One, one. Oh, yeah. But it's One One. Did you know that? Yeah, I have heard that, but I don't agree. No, that, that, I can, <laughs> I can tell you that's correct. Oh. 
Ona, Ona. Ona, it's, Ona. Um, I think it's Hawaiian. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. There you go, some shoe facts for you on a Monday morning. <laughs> Love it. Um, these, I'm so happy that they sold, to be honest, Courtney. Um, reason why, they were very, uh, kind of a small size. I actually thought they were a bit smaller, but they were a US women's size 7. Mm. Um, which is kind of a touch small. You always want to get like a 9 or a 10 Yeah. Uh, in the women's shoes. But look, I mean, the condition though, right? That's why they're probably selling. There's a lot of tread left on the soles. Yeah. Uh, there's no fabric tears, which we would never source when we're running through stores later today. You won't see us buying with anything with a fabric tear. Yeah. Um, these sold for um, $45, which I'm very happy about. That's a good sale price for this shoe. Uh, 45 bucks and because of the size we do luck out being able to do that and put them into a small satchel mm -hmm. um, so that's a very nice easy sale and Sacconi or Sockony is a good brand I would just like to have found this shoe in a slightly larger size because the sell-through rate on this it did take a little extra longer to sell mm. where I feel like it might have sold in this condition a bit quicker if it was a slightly larger size um, so yeah this is everything not a lot. Uh, wasn't a huge postage run today, which is good because we want to go out and do some thrifting, but we actually want to get lunch. Yes. We are we very, do. very excited, aren't we? It's a bit cooler now here in Australia. It is. It's, it's, I mean, you look outside. Have, show the camera outside. It, you say cooler, but it is a beautiful day. Yes, stunning. We just want to get out in it. And what we're going to do is we're going to go and have some lunch and we want to show you guys where we're going for lunch um, because it's one of Courtney's old work favourites when you used to uh, work at the brewery. Yeah. Um, it is so good. Yeah. So we're going to show you that. We're going to do the post before we do that. And then we're going to go out and do a bunch of thrifting. We're also going to be going to a store that we've never been to, Courtney. Yeah. A new one. A new store. Is it a Lifeline or a Salvos? It is Vinny's. I'm pretty is sure. Is it the Vinny's? Is that the blue one? Yeah. Yeah, pretty sure yeah. it's it's a, it's a huge... Um, we actually... Courtney and I went... How long ago? Like a month or two? Yeah. And it was... It was... Close. It was like a public holiday or something? No, they know. just had technical issues. Oh, it was electrical issues. Yeah. And we were so bummed, but we looked through the window and it was actually like a really large thrift store. Mm -hmm. And it's very new, very, very brand new. So, never been in there. Mm -hmm. We're going to turn the camera on and hopefully find some cool stuff in there for you guys to see as well. Um, so, yeah, we're going to crush this. We'll do this off camera because it's boring. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you for lunch. Yeah. My Saigon Tuck Shop, Peter is his name. Best friends with you, Courtney. Yeah. He remem remembers me from my other job. Yeah. You used to go there for lunch regularly. Yeah. Um, but really unassuming, hey? Yeah. It's often the unassuming spots that can sometimes be the little nuggets of gold. Yeah, absolutely. We go there maybe, I don't know, how many times do you reckon we've been there now? Seven? Yeah, seven? yeah, I reckon about seven or eight. Just can't go there when it's summer and hot. Yeah, so we haven't been there for about six months, so today was a real treat. Yeah. Uh, going back in and grabbing the same stuff, and Peter knows, he just remembers you. Yeah. He even mentioned this YouTube channel when I, met, I touched on that a few months ago. He was like, how's yeah. your YouTube channel going? Yeah. I said, we'll put it into the video. Yeah, I love them. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> we're full. <clears throat> we're full, and we had a bit of a conversation over, over lunch. What was that about, Courtney? We really need to get tickets to see Stephen Bartlett, which is who we talked about, which is the um, investor in Whoop and the podcast that I've talked about before. He is coming to Australia. Well, he's here at the moment, but his Brisbane show is Sunday and it is Monday today. So we've got a week. <coughs> we've got a week. Um, we're just going to grab the entry ticket. The, the tickets are $80 each. Yeah, the real bleacher <coughs> one, but... It just gets us into the building. Yeah. Um, we really want to see him. We, yeah. We list up our items and we listen to his podcast. And um, mm. Corny's got the Whoop band. Mm. He's got a vlog. We watch his vlogs like crazy. Read his book. Read his book, yeah. Yeah. So we're, we're fanboy and fangirl. Yeah. And we to want to go on Sunday. To see him live would be amazing. Yeah, it would be amazing, actually. I just... If, yeah, we want to go into too much detail because I could talk about him all day. Yeah. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to try and raise some money to go and see yeah. him. And we're going to do that by thrifting this afternoon. Mm -hmm. So I think we should set ourselves a goal of revenue of $400 worth of fines. Mm -hmm. And if we can list up 400 if we can just find $400 worth of fines, that's going to be some good healthy items going into eBay. Yeah. 
hopefully it'll mean we can just say yes to going to Stephen. Have you said that yet? No, I haven't spoken anything about this retail fest. eBay are a community partner of this retail fest. It's a three-day conference and eBay have been really nice enough to give us a couple of tickets. So mm. Courtney and I will both be there. Um, there is a meet and greet that's happening as well for anyone that's going to Retail Fest. Um, we'll be there. There's, uh, actually, eBay's actually setting up a YouTuber's meet and greet location um, for an hour between 10 and 11 on the Tuesday and the Wednesday of the, of the conference. Um, <clears throat> we've, also got, we've also got two tickets, guys, uh, that eBay has given us to be able to hand over to one of you. Um, unfortunately, there's no flights or accommodation included in it. Mm. It is just tickets to the event, but the event is worth $1,300 a ticket. How are we going to draw it? What do you reckon we do? We should do a Stephen Bartlett, not that many people will know, but I'm thinking of a colour and comment what colour you think I'm thinking of and if you guess correctly. Write it into your, the phone on um, your notes section and screenshot the time that you wrote it. Okay. It is 1.30 on Monday the 8th of April. Courtney's writing a colour. If you can guess the right colour in the comments, you're in the draw. If you can't attend but you're the winner, you can obviously dish the tickets across to somebody that might be local to the Gold Coast. Mm -hmm. So there's a cool, cool grab. Check it out. Nike Pegasus 37. I don't have my mic on. Oh, you do? Yeah. Hold those. Nike Pegasus 37s. So these are in pretty good condition. The soles are in good, plenty of use left in them. 15, we sell, we're waiting on actually somebody buying them for 45 right now. Yeah. So I think we can get about 50 for those. Yeah. So that's a good first one. Yeah. But I also got these. This is um, Steph Curry in the NBA. Yeah. They are awesome shoes and they're actually cheaper. Oh, that's good. They're only $12. So Steph Curry basketball shoes, one of the best NBA players, and a pair of Nike Pegasus 37. So that's only going to cost us 27 bucks. Great first stop. If they were if they were the Vince Carter version, though, I think they'd be about 150 to 160 and be worth it. There's a lot of comps for um, Shocks BB4, but these are the BB Pros. It's a tough one. If it was like 20 bucks, I'd probably do it, but 45 just seems a little steep. These are good. These are great. Look at that. $9. They're cute. They are smaller size for sure. They're an eight. Yeah, they're size eight. Men's eight, I'd guess. Mm. They do look small though. They do. Yeah. I still think for nine, it's worth grabbing that. Well, it's tough out here in the trenches, Courtney. It is. Steve and Bartlett. As you know, we're here for Steve. What would Steve do? Oh, oh my God, Courtney, this is amazing. Check this is out. This look, look, look. Is that a ticket? It's close to one. Hull FC. Hull FC. That's cool. ISC. It's in light near condition. And it's a size large. Ten Good bucks. Ten bucks. That's brilliant. Are they yours? Yeah. <laughs> I donated these. Perfect. Another, another little lesson there. Nice to see uh, that they haven't sold in the week. That the <laughs> That's good. Even at a not that price. All these um, resellers seeing those books going, no, thank you. No, thanks. The lessons not you learned. Not a year ago, though. Yeah, a year ago we were hunting for them. Yeah. Remember that store when we bought them in um, Tweed? I'm going to call the Pegasus running shoes 50. I'm going to call the Steph Curry's conservatively 50 because I haven't done a heap of comp research. So there's $100, and then what we've just found there, I'm gonna give the jacket 40. What would you put in eBay? Go Hull FC jacket. Let's say 40, and then let's say the shoes, the ASIC shoes, let's say 50. No, let's say 40. All right, so that's 180. Anything on the hull? 50, did you say? Or yeah, I reckon 40. 40. Hull jacket. So yeah, I'm gonna call it 180 towards our goal of 400 for the day. And our next location is this brand new store that we've never been to. It's a lifeline and it's open. So we were here a couple of weeks ago and it was, uh, yeah, electrical fault caused it to be closed. But uh, 
I'm going to dive into this brand new store for the very first time and have a bit of a dig. Hopefully come out with a bunch of good stuff. We need another $220 for Stephen tickets. Oh my God. Just saw a jacket for $85. 80. I was about to say, it literally smells expensive. <laughs> Literally a Kmart puffer jacket, $30. $30 Kmart. This is tough. Yeah. That's a good hat actually. That one's Columbia. $5 youth. for Columbia. It's a youth, yeah, we'll leave it. Even this too, it's a Baltimore Ravens. Mm. And it's only four, but I've been talking about hats recently being like, they only go for 25 Yeah. It's not really worth it. No. Unless you get a billabong. Um, corduroy. Oh, that's different. And we're talking 250. I wonder how they're selling. <laughs> One of the most expensive stores we've ever been in. 25 on an All Blacks polo. This $75, Corny, for a pair of shoes? No. No, thank you. <laughs> Guess how much? One book in. One book? How much? One paperback book. How much? Five dollars. No. Yeah. For a paperback? Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> Branded labels. Oh no. Just in case you weren't aware of what was good and what wasn't. Oh boy. Fifty dollars. Fifty for a jacket. What's this? <laughs> Engine. That's actually, a, that's actually really, really good. So this is actually um, the professional swimmers. That's eighty dollars. But the professional, that's a full body suit for a swimmer. And I think even the Iron Man. So it's just a good brand to be aware of, guys. A dollar a disc. I was just saying, they can't even spell disc right. Disc. Oh, not good vibes now. What an absolute shame. Eight for dollars. one? For, just for that. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Eighty-eight dollars. Eighty-eight dollar book set. <laughs> this is speechless. <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm we'll, just waiting. We'll never come back to this store. Because that one, that, that's a store where it's like, so far gone to finding a competitive price. Yeah, you can't. It's... That's criminal. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't make sense to me. No. So Courtney has got an absolute issue. <laughs> I don't have an issue. I actually don't though. I haven't had one. I haven't had one in a long time. A problem. I don't have a problem. She has too many Red Bulls. No, I don't. I, this year, four months in, I reckon I've probably had That's not, a, I'm, I know people that drink like two a day. But you I'm gonna a, go get one right now. You had a period though where you were on two a day. Tough time in life. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're here at a Coles Express. See you in a minute. <laughs> see, see you in a minute. <laughs> you want a Red Bull? Uh, no, it's not bad for you. Any sugar free. What have you got there? Two for 5.15, no sugar free, how good? Just pure sugar for you. We're back to some familiar territory. This Lifeline store is actually a really good store. We found some good stuff in here before. So, we've got four items under our belt. I'd like to find at least six more to the value of 220 bucks. Let's hope they haven't increased their prices in here. Oh. This is good, it's $12 though. It's brand new though. Mm. Have you got your phone? Mm -hmm. That's gonna be pretty much what, oh that's seasons one to three and this is collection three. Mm. It's a 12 disc set. I think it's only worth about $25. You see that one there? Yeah. 
but then season 10 is like 100. So I think because it's collection three, the earlier years aren't as good as the later years. Yeah. So if this was like collection 10, it'd be worth getting. Mm. I've got a complete box set. For some weird reason, it's only seven. And we've got all of Men Behaving Badly, including the final trilogy. Mm. So, so 7 to 40, that's definitely worth doing. Yeah. The issue is when you rely on just doing this to find items, we're just chewing up our day. Yeah. Um, and we're doing it at a point in time when no one, like, there's not much competition around, there's not many people out in store. Yeah. And we're still not being able to find too much. Yeah. It's because of all these really heavy price tags. Exactly. It has all changed. Oh, this is a great one, Courtney. Which? Oh. Complete. I think there's actually five to this How one. Much do you Eight. Did you see? <laughs> <laughs> That's full one to three. Yeah, so we've got about 40 on it. That's good. Mm. These are pretty good. Brooks. 12. Brooks glycerin 19. And they're size 10, which is great. Oh, look at these. Mm. Yeah. It's actually got 35 and these are 12. Oh, look at these. They're only 10. Oh, look at that. So Terrible. Yeah. And then we've got some Metcons, which we're not doing anymore. 12. Osklin. I've never heard of that. No. These would have been great if they at $35. Absolutely not. Are they even know what ASIC they are. There's no name on it. Oh, FF. Oh, nice. Yeah, they're all FF. Yeah, they're all FF. It's not? No. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, they are. Yeah, they're all FF. Yeah, they're all FF. Yeah, they're all FF. No, because that's generic. This would be the only one in our price range with condition. $12. Is the other one, though? Similar. Brooks Glycerin 19, size 10. Nothing really hectic, hey? Yeah, interesting. Mm. Can only go by what the comps say, I reckon. Mm -hmm. So this was selling for about 25. It's gonna have to go into a small satchel, but it's only $2. So a lot of comps, a lot of sales for 25, so I think it's worth it. Found these. Some DVDs, and it's a quite a good TV series. It's called Ash vs. Evil Dead, and it's season one, two, and three. Um, so it is all there. Now, on Blu ray, it goes for upwards of 60 to 70, but on DVD, it's a complete series, which is awesome. This is only $6, and it sells for about 50 So we might list this one up for, yeah, 50 and we're only paying the six. That's pretty good. We did also find this as well, which we're going to go ahead with, the Charles Brosnan Ultimate Collection. It was going for about 25? 25, yeah. Yeah, 25 on that. And that'll be $2. Should be $2. Yeah. Pretty sure. These are all $2. Yeah. All right, we're back home now. It was a total of 10 items that we were able to pick up in the end. Majority of them obviously being shoes, um, four pairs of shoes. And, uh, and then a bunch of DVDs as well, to be honest. But they are the categories that we're trying to pick up each time that we're going out. And I'm pretty sure we bought well today. Um, there were $400 worth of value, 10 items, a $40 average sale price. It could have been better. It could have been more volume. But the thrift stores are really tough, as you would have seen, as you will know when you go out and do your thrifting. I'm sure you can agree. Let me know in the comments if your thrift stores are tough in the sense of pricing. Not so much in the sense of quality, because it is out there. People are donating quality. Uh, we just can't purchase it for the right price at the moment. And uh, I don't even know if it's ever going to go back, to be honest with you. I feel like, what do you reckon, Courtney? Do you reckon this is the way thrifting is going to be from here on in? Yeah. Or do you reckon it could drop again in price at some point? Uh, it could drop in price if they like start to slow up a heap and yeah. realise. I think we need to just stop buying off them. Yeah. Um, and then they'll have to. Yeah. There's only one way if they uh, don't get customers purchasing. Yeah. 
Um, we had another scenario take place because we were so eager before to go to the post office. Um, sorry, the uh, lunch. <laughs> we weren't eager to go to the post office at all. <laughs> we were eager to go to lunch though and we went to the post office and uh, we actually handed in an item that we were going to go and personally deliver. Um, so it was an unmarked box that we dropped off at the post office and then we just went about our day and did our thrifting. And fortunately, we got a phone call. We don't usually do that, that's why. We, we never ever do a personal delivery. We never do a personal delivery, but it was literally on the way to lunch. So rather than, rather than paying it, you know, 10, 12 dollars, we we're just gonna go and literally just drop it off at the front door. Which, I don't even know if you can do that or not, but. Yeah. I don't know, but we wanted to. Yeah. And uh, anyway, the post office called us back literally 10 minutes ago. And they said, excuse me, you've left an unmarked post box. Yes, yes, we did. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, we did do that. Um, but this, is, this all comes back to the point of post offices increasing their postal rates, Australia Post. We don't want to pay the $12 if we can go and drop it off. We're going to turn into a career service. <laughs> We're going to be a career service. <laughs> We're just going to drive around and drop off all the parcels. At the wrong places. At the wrong places, yeah. Well, yeah, that was a bit of a blunder today. <laughs> At least it was rectified, though. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, big day Monday. We're looking pretty decent because Courtney's going ahead and listing up. We've got a lot of stock down here on the floor, um, which is a little bit of leftover stock actually from last week if you guys have been watching on a regular basis. Um, but Courtney over here, let me just turn the camera around. Courtney over here is working away on what we bought today. Yep. How are you going with it? Yeah, good. What's yes. our numbers looking like on, on that little poster note that you've got there? Uh, 275. 275. So far today. And what, what is that for the people watching? Um, to hit our $500 a day. Listing goal. Yeah. 500 bucks a day. Yeah. So we're kind of halfway through that day. Yeah. Um, and we've got a bit of stock down here on the floor. Yeah. To push into, arguably, I would like to, I haven't updated this since I actually last put a video out. So none of this is different. We're actually, we've listed there and we're now up to here and here. I think I've logged here last. Um, but what we want to do is get 500 in today and tomorrow before Courtney leaves in 45 minutes. So I'm going to leave Courtney to blast these listings away. She's going to get another $1,500, $1,700 up. Oh, no, not that much. <laughs> How much are you going to get up? $750. Yeah. For two days. Yeah. Yeah. $750, bucks, which we've definitely got here. Do you um, Yeah. Yeah. Even that Star Wars um, console that we haven't yet listed, mm. it's a dead DVD. But I reckon that we could almost list for like 150, I think. We've got to do some research into it. Yeah. But like there's some value in this in this room that is unlisted. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the shoes are like $200. We've got some stuff. Make sure to guess my colour. Guess Courtney's colour. Yeah. Hey, did you timestamp that? Mm -hmm. It's been timestamped. Her favourite colour. I don't even know what it is, so I'm going to put a guess in. Try and win some free tickets that I'm already going to. <laughs> <laughs> but appreciate you watching the videos, guys. Uh, thanks for being here. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet already. And uh, there's a video here of another vlog that we did on a Monday that hopefully you guys will enjoy tuning into. Anyway, we better get out of here. <laughs> we'll see you soon.